One of the things that's important in email marketing or in real estate investing or in marketing in general is building up an email list. And I mentioned that in one of my other videos. But what's important with an email list is you got to have a tool what's called an autoresponder. And an autoresponder is a tool that will be able to send out messages to people on a predefined period. So for example, any autoresponder will allow you to collect an email list and they usually have capture pages as well up front. So part of the capture page or the capture form, you can embed that into any uh, web page and you can and you can do that easily. Usually they provide you with, with a script if you know how to do that or you can get somebody on Fiverr to do that for you for like 10 bucks. And then what happens is when they go to your page and they're trying to download your lead magnet, this free report, they'll put in their email list. That email list gets added to this autoresponder. Now the autoresponder will send out a first email which should be, hey, thanks for uh, you know, requesting this download, this free book on how to become an investor in real estate and you send it off to them. That's the first email that they send out. But now the autoresponder in there, you've defined that you want to send out another email every two or three days or five days or 10 days or every day or twice a day, depending on what you think you need to do to keep your list to keep your people interested in what you're trying to offer. So in the case of real estate investors, for example, what I do is I post a blog every day. I take these videos that we're doing, I transcribe them, I rewrite them, I put some nice more information in there and I dress them up, I headline them, I annotate them and then I create a blog post. So what I do then is I send out a uh, to my email list of investors a link to that blog post every day. So they get to see a blog of the day from Jim Pellerin and then can read that or not. Right? And then the other thing the autoresponder will do is it allows the people that don't want to have any more contact with me to unsubscribe from my list, which is good because I don't want anybody on the list that's not going to be a potential uh, uh, business partner of mine, whether it's through a real estate transaction or it's a motivated seller. Okay, So don't look at unsubscribes as, as bad either. Um, the other thing they can do is they can... Uh, They'll manage any of the, or you'll be able to report on the activity associated with your email marketing campaign. This will be the open rates. This will be the number of clicks that they do. This will be the number of uh, blocked, uh, not blocked, but uh, bad emails. So eventually somebody may change the email and the email is no longer any good. So they'll, they'll flag that and they won't try to send to it again. Uh, it'll show you the number of bounces. Uh, which means people who open the email that but then go through it really or then get out of it really fast or it also show you the number of people who unsubscribe from your list right so it gives you all the statistics associated with your email marketing campaign okay so it's important to have an autoresponder to do your email marketing campaign so if you like what you heard and you want more information about real estate investing and how you can scale your business really fast go to invest.jimpellerin.com